Hi guys, it's Brendan from Mini Mania, and today we are going to swap out the intercooler on our coupe. Now, a couple years ago, we had actually put in the Wagner uh, intercooler uh, that was the track type on this car, um, but it was an older uh, design. They've since actually um, redesigned uh, the intercoolers. We're actually gonna put the, the street intercooler on this car. So while the install isn't exactly um, the type that you would see if you were removing the stock intercooler and replacing it with an aftermarket. We're going to remove an older aftermarket one and replace it with the G2 NME 3161 that you can find on our site. And that's the 2011 plus um, intercooler, the street intercooler. And so we're going to bring this down to Ryan Ganjemi's down in Auburn, California, and we're going to have him swap it out for us. So if you would like to see how that's done, you can follow along. Okay, we're down here at Ryan GMW in Auburn, California. There's the red car. I'll put that up on up in the air and we'll see what we can do about getting this intercooler installed. That was the only one, huh? <laughs> That's it. No, like needed just a little bit of help over on that side. Fog light bulbs. Till Wednesday. Cool. There. 
No, that's going to go to the factory donuts there. Yep, factory rubber bits. There's your worthless bracket right there. Yeah, not attached to anything. Yeah. Just sitting on top. Yeah, that one's doesn't get connected Spacer. to anything. Yeah. Thank you, Ron. My cart's now speaking my language. My tools are literally jumping into my hand. Yeah, I love that habit. Saw that in it yesterday, so. Yeah. Gavin's been sucking it, keeping it maintained. Mm -hmm. You know what they say about free help, you get what you pay for. Pity those without a uh, quarter inch ratchet because it's going to make this install all the blood. bracket and the hold in the floor. So you take glass cleaner. A little glass cleaner. And those are silicon hoses? Yeah. The rubber. You just don't want silicone on the rubber. Oh, you don't want silicone on the rubber. Glass cleaner is a, is a trick. So the, yeah, the noise no, uh, no wheel bearings or those things or anything to keep it turning. He's just tightening the clamps there on those uh, two uh, hoses. The tail light, I looked around, nobody had to use one. So, pretty good. And you just reuse these factory uh, little rubber bits. I have not done the smog. I got to take another car down there today, so I'll take your... Yeah. Hold that rubber. Right in there. Yeah. Gigantic washer. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, 
tighten up these clamps twice because they seem to settle and treat these leaks and problems. the end, turn around, go all the way back to the start again. <laughs> line out all the tools that you need to do this job to to get it <laughs> to the shoot of it. Is that a sensor? Yeah, it's the ambient temp sensor. Yeah. That's got to go over that, yeah, okay. You got one that fastens the lower to the upper, right? Right, those two go together, and then this one goes in and holds the upper to the bumper. And then that one holds the upper to the bumper. Okay. I take this cover out to put the bulbs in and everything, it makes it a little easier. It just gives you more room, yeah. yeah. Less working blind. And there's just two other of those push fasteners to hold the inner fender. Correct. One here. And inner one fender here. well, or whatever you want to call it. You only have to loosen it and peel it back. opposite. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. <laughs>
Yours is white or black? Most of you are not going to have this light bar sticking through your grill. We just happen to have that, so that's all that uh, Ryan is just finishing up on right here. Also makes fitting the grill, taking the oven off a lot easier without the uh, lights sticking through it and the brackets to have to mess with.